better than little Phyllis. Come on, Pat. Come on, Pat. Thank you. Talk thank about you. this. Thank talk you. about it. That's one time right there. Yes, sir. Wow. You got a good father and y'all cease to make it. Jesus. I love y'all so much. Man, thank you, dear. Y'all know you. Like a shoe, Watch out, Bishop. And driven. Oh, yes. Bad and bad and angry sea. Come on, Bishop, come on. When the storms of life are
We don't want people to succeed because we have our own opinion of what people are supposed to get and what we want to give them. But don't you know, my Bible tells me my father the cattle of a thousand years. Watch out, Bishop. And yeah. if I was hungry, I wouldn't have to kill nobody. Come on, Bishop. You know, it's a good thing to know God is your father. Amen. You know, and Jesus Christ is his son, and yes. the Holy Spirit is the keeper, and the three are one, and you can't separate That's either right. one of them. Uh-huh. So right. we need to learn how good God really is, and do unto others as you have them to do yes. unto you. Yes. Now, you, if you might have woke up this morning after you saw a brand new year coming in, and you might have had some negative thoughts, I don't know, about some people that from last year that you are mad at them because they didn't do what you wanted them to do and they did you wrong or, or whatever, but shake it off. Because I'm going to tell you something. The good and the bad are going to have to answer to the Lord. Amen. The Bible said pray for those that is faithful. You use you. I don't, I don't have a heaven to hell to put you in, but I can tell you how to get there. <laughs> You're going to have to love one another. As Christ has loved you. Amen. Amen. You know, it's family members that are not loving one another. Don't want to be around one another. But they say they've been born again. How can you you, you hate your own king? Yeah. And celebrate with the ones out in the street better than you can your own king. The ones that, you know, when, when you were wet, when you were brought up and you know you didn't have two nickels to rub together. You know you didn't have a full loaf of bread, and then when you did have a loaf of bread, when well, sometimes when you when you made toast, you burnt the toast, and you had to take a knife or something and scrape the bread off of it. And all it. Now, everybody haven't had a good loaf of bread all their life. I'm going to preach here today. Y'all know what you're ready. I'm going to tell you something. We're going to have to learn how to be good neighbors. Christians, just because you're in church, don't mean that you're a good neighbor. We got people in church, the pastor, bishop, and everybody else that don't love other people. Uh-oh. They glamorize themselves. That's right. That's right. But the focus is supposed to be on our Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. You know, God yeah. blessed you, but when he blessed you, he wants you to be a blessing for somebody else. People talk about you when you give to help people. You know why? Because they ain't going to help nobody. But let me tell you something, help is on the way. Everybody down here standing in need of prayer. I'll tell you that right now. You know, when she, when this man was asking Jesus, Jesus looked at him, he asked him, what does the law say? And when he told him about the law, he said, what's written? How read it down? He's answered and said, thou shalt love the Lord thou God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength, and with all thy mind. And thy neighbor as thy son. Now that's what got him right there. Yes. He was talking good stuff. What Moses had already told him to do. Yeah, yeah. Now back in the Old Testament, you know. But see what he forgot was Jesus was before Moses. Uh-huh. He was the one gave Moses what he needed in order to get the people. Oh, no. You know, God wrote the Ten Commandments. He chewed it out in the rock and he gave it to him and told him to take it down. God had already perfected love in the Ten Commandments. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Love ye one another as I have loved you. You can't be my child and not love one another. Come on, Bishop. That's why he said, do unto others as you have to to do unto you. You know, when when he told uh, this lawyer, this certain man, this the man looked at him, he didn't know what was going on. And then Jesus just told him, said, let me tell you something. A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. I'm going somewhere. You are, you sure are. And fell among thieves. Yeah. And which stripped him of his raiment. That's his clothing. Amen. Uh-huh. And wounded him and departed, leaving him but half dead. dead. So he was half dead on one side. He was dead, live on the other side. But he could have went either way. You don't never know because they tell me you can go to the YMCA and work out every day. Go home, sit down in chair and drop dead. Amen. See, working out don't keep you here. Right. Only by the grace of God are we yeah. here right now. Yeah. You know, I thank God for everything we do. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you something. Your, your, your best is not good enough. Yeah. Uh-huh. He loves us, one and all. And he, all he wants us to do is portray love to one another. You might not have a whole lot of money or, 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 or 
find furniture for somebody to come in your house and sit down. But don't think that you're better than them. That's right. Ain't nobody no better than the next person. Because my Lord and Savior came down, and he came down when he came. He didn't have on a royal robe and everything. He came down plain. Yes, when the people, when they saw him, they didn't have to worry. He knew who he was. But he wanted to know if they knew who he was. Out of all of the miracles that he did, a lot of them still they want to accept him as Christ. Yes, sir. A lot of them today don't want to accept him as Christ. Amen. But let me tell you, 2022 to 2023 is a blessing. Amen. Because a whole lot of them last year, they make it over to this year. Oh, I just told you about one or two. That's right. Just earlier in my statement. It could have been us. That's right. It's by the love of God, the goodness of God, that he allowed us to be here. That's why we need to be good neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said this man went Praise down Jesus. from Jerusalem to Jericho, Praise. and they whipped him, and they beat him, and they stripped him, and left him half dead and half alive. But this is the part that gets me. Y'all know where I'm going. When he was laying over in the ditch in the gully, about dead, here come a preacher. The preacher. <laughs> they said a priest came down. Came down. And we look at it. Yeah, You're right. down in a ditch. Yeah. Mud and dirt all over him. They beat uh -huh. him and everything was happening to him. He just peeked in. And he <coughs> <coughs> got time. <coughs> I got something I got to do. Uh -huh. I'm in route to Jerusalem. Ain't nobody going to slow me down. Uh -huh. Leave him over there. And he left him. But now after he left, watch out that deacon. They say, here come a yellow man, a deacon, uh -huh. a Levi. Yes, Came and looked at him and, you know, we shout hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that you've been better than me. Yeah. But see, so when you see somebody in need, you go to the other side. Yeah. He looked at him and he saw him laying there and he said, I ain't got time for this. I got to go to Jerusalem because I got to go and fix up the temple and pray uh -huh. for the people. That man needed prayer in that ditch. But not only did he need a prayer, he needed help. Amen. Sometimes spiritual help means step, go stepping out mm -hmm. and doing the unnatural. Amen. Because see, this man was about dead. Yes, and after he's dead, what can you do for him? He didn't care. He just went back on the other side and he went on to Jerusalem and did his task. But my God, here come Jesus. Come on, Bishop. Here come one coming down on his own beast and he looked over and he saw this man in such a deplorable situation. Man half dead and half alive. Laying there. Now, help had come and they turned it back on him. But here come a Samaritan. Uh -huh. They call it a half breed. Yeah. One that they didn't think was even worthy enough to come yeah. into their church yeah. to praise God with them. You know, we got churches today that think, oh, well, if this is a black church and nobody else can come in, or this is a white church and nobody else can come in. But whatever happens, to this is God's house. Oh, no. There's so much segregation in churches today. And if you go in and if a mixture of, I say, 99% of the other nationality, of the other race, they're going to look at you strange. And don't, by chance, take the chair. Oh, no. Because, see, they're going to come to you like they went to South John. Right. We can't use you in this because, see, we don't believe in mixing. You know how it was so many years that mixed races couldn't get married if they mixed with a person, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. They hang them or kill them or whatever. Uh, they turn their back on. Y'all remember the young man by the name of Emmett T. Oh, no. One of the lad of them said he whistled at them and they did everything they could to that young boy. They killed him. That was hatred. That was prejudice or whatever. God don't want hatred and prejudice in his house. And he did that by the Samaritan when he went over. He saw this man. This man was half dead and half alive. He took his own oil. Yes, he did. And he bound the man and he took him and took his own dresses and his, his rags and he 
cleaned the man up and he bound him up. And not only that, he didn't leave the man in the ditch. He put the man on his own beast and took the man to the city, took him to an inn, told the innkeeper, take this two pence. That was a lot of money back then. And I want you to take care of him. Because I got to leave. And I want you to give him the best that you can give him. And by chance, if you run out, just keep taking care. Because when I come back, I'll pay you what you what you spend. Don't that sound like Jesus? Come on, Bishop. Don't that sound like Jesus when come he tells you, Bishop. do the best you can, and I'll pay you right. what's due you when I come back. Because he said, every knee going to have to bow. That's right. come on, Bishop. And every tongue is going to have to confess who he is. And if this Samaritan man had enough love, and it's hard to take care of this man. Because I'm telling you, so you got to be prepared to help your neighbor. Who is my neighbor? Right here, right here, right here, across the street, across town. I don't have to, in the jailhouse. Uh, you know, you can't put a limitation on neighbors. You can't put a limitation on love. But what you can do is put a limitation on you going to heaven. If you don't do what the Lord tells you to do, so you got to be prepared to help your neighbor. Sometimes our thoughts and feelings will keep us from doing the will of God. Because we're raised in a society that it can go either way. I thank God. I've been blessed. I've been changed. I'm not what I used to be. I'm not what I should be. But I'm striving to see what the end is going to be. I'm striving to do what the Lord said. I don't mind telling somebody I love them. I don't mind showing somebody I love them. But the main thing is, is the way they accept it. All right. You can't make people love you. He didn't say that they were going to love you back. He said you go out. That's right. That's and right. you love That's one you another. Love Amen. And I have love. loved you. Good point. Good and point. if you win one of them, he said you want a friend. Mm -hmm. And if not, you pray for them. Because one day they might come around. Now, have any of us ever made a mistake? Oh, 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 oh. Have any of us ever turned our back on somebody? Come on, Bishop. Now we knew that we were wrong because we allow society to dictate our lifestyle. Watch out, Bishop. Sometimes your own relatives will lead you down the wrong path. That's right. Because they don't want you to have what you got. And then the Lord bless you the first day, you know, I said, he got it wrong. They must be gambling or something. I don't know. But, you know if you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing at all. just don't say nothing at all. Because I'm going to tell you, are we neighbors today? Are we God's children? Are we set us apart to do God's will? Are we the blessed of the Lord? Did he wake us up this morning? Yes, he did. Out of all the new gunshots and I said cameras, sound like cameras, you know, you know, shooting all night long and whatever, and I'm out there praying to the Lord, please don't let nobody get killed in this. That's the best I could do is pray for them. But sometimes, I'm going to tell you something, prayer works. Because I haven't heard any bad news yet. But I do know one thing, God's good. Yes, and I thank the Lord for everything he blessed us with. Yes. If we just be prepared to help our neighbor. Amen. You know, some, you know, neighbors really today don't even want you in their house. You know why? Because we're not showing the Christian we are life. Come on, Bishop. You can't do what everybody else doing and expect for them to accept you as one of God's children. Come on, Bishop. If they out there drunk, you don't get out there and get drunk with them. You do what the Lord tells you to do. Now, we all are imperfect, but we serve a perfect God. Love your neighbor, he said, as I have loved you. And that's why he said he came down in this world through 42 generations. Yes, he looked at everything at one time. He said, I come down through 42 generations to heal the sick, yes, sir. to raise the dead, come on now. to feed the hungry, yes, sir. to give water to the thirsty. To bind those up which are in need. Because why I left heaven is because man couldn't do what I could do. I came down that they might have a right to the tree of life. And I can accept them back. But I want everybody down there to know you going to have to come by me. Every knee going to have to bow. 
Because I didn't do nothing wrong. I showed you all the goodness of Jesus. And every knee going to have to confess me as being Christ. Yes. God's son. Yes. Thank God that you're here. Amen. But remember, 2023 is going to throw you some curves. Yeah. Satan hasn't got off his job. <laughs> Satan is doing what he's good at. Yes, sir. Trying to pull us away from serving the Lord. But remember this. Love your neighbor. Do good to those that are despiteful and miss you. And you can't say nothing else. Just say, the Lord is my shepherd. Come on, God. And I shall go. I ain't got the one for nothing. Thank God. I got some black eyed peas. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because everybody don't have it. That's right. Praise the Lord. Thank God that you got a meal. And pray that the, pray that the house ain't burned down before you get home. Look at the people that was at home and got burned up in, in the fire. The little children or whatever. I mean, and God blessed us. You know, my lights blinked one time last night. Blinked off, then they blinked back home. And I just got to praying. They never did go back out. Amen. Okay. Prayer works, y'all. I'm going to tell you that right now. Love fellowship, let's go stronger in the word. And, Father and the Lord, let's get closer to one. And you know something that seriously that needs to be here, had not been here to call them and talk to them, go to them, whatever. Because believe me, I've tried to call all of them. Amen. But I, maybe your call, the your business might help them to come home. Amen. Don't beat them down because they haven't been here because I don't think nobody here has been here every Sunday. No, no, no. Except Jesus. Amen. 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 So let us love one another as he has loved us. And keep on doing the will of God. And if he brought us this far by faith, guess what he can do? And he, if we can have church and the Lord bless us with the amount of people that we have, yes. we didn't need a hundred and some people in order to serve God. We just right. needed God in order That's to serve right. God. Right. Because everything is going as well as it was when all of them was here. Amen? Amen. Except for one thing. I haven't been in a disagreement and I don't know how long. People lie on you, they tell stories on you because they want to defame you. Or, I ain't, I'm not famous anyway. My God has helped me. Tell the truth and this truth will set you free. I love you. God love you. I'm going to let you out of here. Not yet. We've got to have communion. But if you can think of one thing to make you a better neighbor. Pray about it and do it. Don't let Satan tell you, no, you don't need to do that. They don't care nothing about you. That's Satan now. When Jesus looked at you and said, I told you to love one another. As I have loved you. God bless you, forever keep you. And until we meet again, those uh, the churches. Amen. Think about the goodness of Jesus. We need to learn to be a good name. You can't do everything they need, but you know, if you put in your little bit, somebody put in their little bit, guess what? Yeah, hold up, bitch. Everything can come together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't you get out in the front of it. You let the Lord out of it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those churches open, brother. Those open, say one today. Mm -hmm.